Hello everyone, welcome back to the next season, the second season of Dynamo Package. I hope you passed the previous season successfully. In this chapter we are going to start with circle node, which means we're gonna draw a circle. It's a simple job, there are no special points here. Okay, Ctrl B, I wanna drag it here, move it here, as you can remember. Alright, now we have a better view here. Alright, right click. Okay, as you can see, since we are in model mode, we should switch to node view. If you did forget to press Ctrl B again, it would remind you to do that. Alright, after you click on it, right click search circle here. As usual, it gives me various models of a circle. For now, we're gonna use the first one by center point radius which means it wants us a center point and a number as a radius. All right, click on it, yes, put it here. As usual, we gotta check its input ports. As you can see, it needs a point as a center point and a number as a radius. As I told you before, some nodes has a default values and here it's blue, not red. And as you can see, it puts a circle at the moment. Well, what's its default values? If you keep your mouse on the center point, you can see at the end. It says geometry dot point dot by coordinates 0 and 0 and 0. It means a point with coordinates of 0, 0, 0 was selected as the default for the center of the circle. Default value for radius is 1, which means one unit as the default was selected for the radius of the circle. Let me remind you here that Dynamo doesn't have independent unit, and its unit follows the Revit's unit. Okay, right click search point by coordinates, put it here. Okay, if I give it to this one, nothing happens because it's the same 0 and 0. Well, I'm gonna add an integer slider here. Well, I'm gonna give it to this one and increase it. As you can see, I move it and it moves by its center. All right, I'm gonna copy from it and paste it here. Okay, I'm give it a smaller number and give it to the radius. And it would be like this. It's a really simple job. Well, naturally, it cannot be zero because it gives us a warning. So I put its minimum in 1. If I want it to be less than 1, for example 1 tenth, it wouldn't accept because it's an integer. You can use number slider instead of integer slider for that. Yes, of course. Okay, give it to the radius and it's able to start from 1 tenth with steps of, for example, 0.5. I think it's good. And you can control it in this way. Uh, that's it for the circle. Yes, that's enough. If you don't mind, let's combine this lesson with our previous season lesson. Well, as you can remember by the code blocks, we were able to make consecutive numbers. And we also said that a port can accept many numbers on the condition that it's entered only by one node. For example, if I give it from both uh, this integer slider and number slider, it wouldn't accept from both of them at the same time. For example, by a code block, if I make some numbers and give them to the radius, they all will be accepted. And it will make some circles for me. Okay, I'm gonna remove it, uh, then here, double click, all right, a code block. Naturally, I don't want it to start from zero. I want it to start from one tenth. And now, how do you want it to be? For example, I'm gonna give it the most radius. For example, its most radius is five. Then it divides some among them and put hashtag before the last one, for example, six. So one of them is one tenth, which is the circle and one of them is five and it makes the other four among them as you can see it gives us six numbers the first one is one tenth and the last one is five 
and the other four is among them. I'm gonna give it to the radius. Well, control B, as you can see, it's like this. All right, as I told you before, I can put its most radius uh, like R, uh, yes, and make it parametric and put N instead of the number like this and make it parametric as well and give them integers. Okay, give it to R and this one is for number. I control by this the most radius and by this one I control the number as you can see. Let me give you some more examples. For example, assume that we are gonna increase the number of the circles. If we want to increase the number of the circles, we have to give it more points. If we give it 10 centers, it will be 10 circles. But if we give it 10 radii, it gives 10 circles with the same center, but with various radii. So we are able to devote more inputs to each one of these. All right, I'm gonna disconnect it and put all of it here. How many points did it take? Only one, which is this one. For example, here, instead of this integer slider, I give it a code block. For example, I wanted to put circles for me three by three. After double click, for example, it starts from zero and to the number of uh, n, for example, and with the distance of, um, for example, three. Yes, it's a fixed number and it's good. All right, uh, I'm gonna give it uh, an integer slider here, yes. Now, if I uh, connect it to x, c, with distance of three, uh, how many circles? 12. I can increase and decrease the number by this. Yes. So what have I done? I put a circle node. If I give to its center 17 points, it will be 17 circles with a fixed radius. Its radius as a default value is 1. Now there is a question here. What if I give it 17 points and 17 various radii? Very good. It will be 17 circles that each of them has a different radius. All right, let's put it back. Okay. All right, we have number here. So let it take number from this one. And this one is the most radius. Let me decrease it, okay? All right, it's the numbers that it gives me. Okay, uh, yes. Uh, all right, uh, okay. Let me see. I think I gave them wrong. I should connect this to this one and this one. Yes, okay, it's right. And here we have 17 radii and 17 points and the result is like this. In here, we have the same subject, which is the similar indexes. All right, pay attention to it. Look at here. The circle, which its index is zero, and the first one, as you can see, has the radius, which its index is zero as well. Or the circle, which its index is four, has the radius, which its index is four as well, and etc. So the nodes are working like this, that they consider the similar indexes, the same indexes, and then give us the outputs. For example, I decrease uh, the radius a little bit. You can decrease the period and put 20 here. All right, see, yes, like this. All right, you got it? Okay. If you master these concepts, it would be so easy for you. Of course, we have worked on this in the previous season. And now we are going to make various geometric shapes by the knowledge that we have learned before. All right, let me give you another example. I'm gonna remove all of it. Now let's review it. I'm gonna draw some circles in height 
that as far as it goes up, it gets smaller. So, first of all, I need a point here, okay? All right, uh, double click here to make a code block. It, I want it to start from zero to its maximum height, mm, like 30. And the number will be variable, like N. All right, I'm gonna give it to Z uh, and right click integer, okay. You should guess earlier what I'm supposed to do. It's the right way that you want to be sure that you got it. You should predict that what I'm gonna do for the next move. It's called dynamic viewing, which is so useful. All right, uh, I'm gonna consider the number, for example, 50. And uh, after that, I'm gonna give it to this one. All right, control B, okay, uh, roll back, that's good. All right, after that, uh, okay, I'm gonna click on clean up. It's good, now they're closer. As you can see, I made the final height fixed. All right, uh, it's like this. Now we're gonna put a circle on each one of them. All right, circle, put it here, I'm gonna give it to it. How many circles do we have now? 24. So I can make 24 radii and give it as the radius input. All right, uh, double click here. I say, for example, a radii start from 1 tenth to maximum, for example, 5 is good, yes. If we write in this way, it would be like from small to big. But if you want it from big to small, you should write it from 5 to 1 tenth, yes, like this. And its number is hashtag n, okay. All right, I give it to n and connect this one to, okay, to this one. Okay, now we have here 24 points as the center and 24 numbers as the radius. The indexes which have the same numbers are working together. It means the circle which its index is 7 has the radius which its index is 7 as well. And then they can make a circle together. Alright, you got it? Let me tell you something cool. Uh, Alright, uh, you know what? Okay, let's put it back. Uh, we have a node which is called shuffle. You may know it. Shuffle means uh, random. You may see in your player when you choose shuffle, it will play three of your musics randomly. So what can I do now? I can uh, disconnect this one. Uh, yes, I can disconnect it. Well, it has a specified rhythm. Click on pin, then make it fixed. Okay. This is like five, four, four, uh, two, two, mm, one tenth. As you can see, it's getting smaller. If you right click here and then search shuffle, uh, the first one, list. As you can see, it says list, yes. Do you remember reverse when you give it a list, it makes it reverse? Like reverse, shuffle doesn't care what you give it. It just makes the order of the indexes random. For example, if I give it to this, you can see the result that there is no order. To conclude, shuffle takes the list and makes it random. Now if I give it to this one, you can see what it is like. So through the shuffle, you may have a messy and disordered list that whenever it is necessary, you can make a special use of this mess and disorder. All right, my dear friends, we have another state of circle drawing here which its name is, uh, okay, uh, here, by best fit through points. As you can see its icon, we give it some points and it draws a circle, which is the best way to fit among the points by getting average. As we learned uh, list create, for example, assume that I have some points here.
whatever it may be, in order not to be time consuming. Uh, all right, take it easy. I'm gonna draw it anyway. Uh, all right, I'm gonna put it here. Copy from it. Uh, okay, uh, so I give it to this one and uh, to this one as well. Okay, uh, yes, this one. We give it to which we gave it five. Okay, and let's uh, give it only five. I think four is good. For example, it draws a circle through these four points. All right, first of all, we should do it by list create. Okay, click on it, put it here. Okay, give it to this one. The order matters. This is the first and the second one is this one. All right, the next is this one and uh, the last one is here, okay. Now, if we are going to connect it to the circle by best fit through points, it would be a shape like this, okay. It shouldn't be important that it crosses through the points. For example, let me make another point here. For example, here with 1, 3, and 8, as you can see. And then give it this one as well, that uh, you can see the result, which it gets the average of them. It is the best fit, as you can see, it only crosses through this point. Okay, let's make another point here, alright? As many as you want, you can give it points. For example, let's give it um, minus 2, okay? And then give it to this one. Although I said that the order matters, but you are able not to care about it. But it may affect on your circle model. So if this version of our points is like that, it doesn't cross through them, it wouldn't be problem. Hence, if we have some points, it can make a circle for us. For example, we had four points and it made a circle by best fit. I gave you some examples, so please practice all of it. Then you may go to the next chapter. Okay, uh, that's it for now. Good luck.